In 1930s, a Swiss astronomer and physicist Fritz Zwicky was studying coma cluster of galaxies at the California Institute of Technology in the United States. He observed the coma cluster of galaxies and found something strange. Zwicky studied the coma cluster, which is a large group of galaxies. He made precise observations of the galaxy's motions within the cluster. Zwicky calculated the mass of the cluster by observing the speeds at which galaxies within it were moving. He used the Virial theorem, a mathematical equation relating kinetic and potential energy, to estimate the cluster's total mass. Zwicky found a significant discrepancy between the mass he calculated based on the galaxy's motions and the mass he could account for by observing visible matter in the form of stars and galaxies. The calculated mass was much greater than the observed mass. To explain this discrepancy, Zwicky proposed the existence of unseen, invisible matter that did not emit light or interact with electromagnetic forces. He called this mysterious substance dark matter and suggested that it made up the missing mass required to account for the gravitational forces at play in the coma cluster. What is dark matter? Dark matter is something in space that we can't see because it doesn't give off any light. It's like invisible stuff that's all around us in the universe. We call it dark because it's hidden and doesn't shine like stars or planets. Even though we can't see it, we know it's there because it has a special power called gravity, which makes things stick together in space. Scientists use the name dark matter because it's a mystery, and they're still trying to figure out what it's made of and how it works. It is estimated that dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe, while ordinary matter, the matter we can see, accounts for less than 5%. This means that dark matter outweighs visible matter by a significant margin. Types of dark matter. Dark matter comes in different forms, with the two most widely accepted types being baryonic and non-baryonic dark matter. Baryonic dark matter is composed of familiar particles such as protons, neutrons, and atomic nuclei, similar to the matter that makes up stars and galaxies. However, baryonic dark matter accounts for only a small fraction of the total dark matter in the universe, approximately 4.5%. The majority of dark matter, around 26.1%, is believed to be non-baryonic. Non-baryonic dark matter does not consist of ordinary matter particles and is classified into two categories, hot dark matter and cold dark matter. Hot dark matter refers to particles that move at relativistic velocities, similar to neutrinos. These fast-moving particles can easily escape from small fluctuations in mass density. As a result, small density fluctuations in hot dark matter dissolve away before recombination, a crucial period in the early universe's history. This dissolution prevents the formation of small-scale structures such as galaxies, leading to a slow and late formation of galaxies in the cosmic timeline, cold dark matter. In contrast to hot dark matter, Cold dark matter consists of particles that move more slowly. These particles do not diffuse out of small lumps and can form structures on all scales, from small to large. The collapse of cold dark matter occurs gradually, allowing for the formation of structures from the bottom up. Galaxies can form before galaxy clusters in a process known as hierarchical structure formation. What is the dark matter made of? While the exact nature of dark matter remains a mystery, scientists have proposed several candidates for its composition. One possibility is that dark matter consists of weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs. These hypothetical particles would have masses ranging from 1 to 1,000 times that of a proton. Despite their significant mass, WIMPs interact weakly with ordinary matter, making them difficult to detect. 
Another candidate for dark matter is the axion, an elusive particle with a mass approximately 10 trillionth that of an electron. Axions are theorized to convert to detectable photons in the presence of strong magnetic fields. This conversion mechanism provides a potential avenue for indirectly detecting dark matter. It is also worth noting that dark matter may not be composed of a single type of particle, but rather a rich and complex ensemble of particles. The precise combination of these particles remains unknown and subject to ongoing research and exploration. Is dark matter harmful to humans? While dark matter particles pass through us every second, their weak interaction with ordinary matter means that most of them go unnoticed. However, occasional collisions between dark matter particles and the nuclei in our bodies do occur. The frequency of these collisions has been a subject of interest for physicists. Previous assumptions suggested that a collision between a dark matter particle and a human nucleus would be a once-in-a-lifetime event. However, recent calculations indicate that such collisions might be more frequent than previously thought. Researchers now propose that the average human body experiences a collision with a particle of dark matter approximately once a minute. How does dark matter affect Earth? To understand the cosmic connection between dark matter and Earth's geologic activity, we must examine the origins of dark matter itself. The leading candidate for dark matter particles is known as weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, which have minimal interaction with ordinary matter. These particles were likely created during the early stages of the universe, similar to other forms of matter. As the universe expanded and cooled, WIMPs spread out but did not annihilate each other, leading to their persistence in the cosmos. Billions of WIMPs are estimated to pass through Earth and its inhabitants every second. While most pass through unhindered, occasional collisions occur, resulting in the transfer of energy to the nuclei in our bodies. Why is dark matter so important? Galaxy formation and evolution Dark matter provides the gravitational scaffolding upon which galaxies form and evolve. It plays a fundamental role in the distribution of matter in the universe, influencing how galaxies cluster and how they move within galaxy clusters. Cosmological models Dark matter is a central component of cosmological models that explain the large-scale structure and evolution of the universe. It affects the expansion rate of the cosmos which, in turn, impacts our understanding of the universe's past and future. Missing mass problem. Dark matter helps solve the missing mass problem in the universe. When astronomers observe the rotational speeds of galaxies, they find that they should fly apart due to the visible matter's gravity. Dark matter's invisible presence provides the additional gravitational pull required to keep galaxies intact. Particle physics and fundamentals. The search for dark matter particles at the smallest scales delves into the fundamental nature of the universe. Discovering the true identity of dark matter particles could lead to groundbreaking insights into particle physics and the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos. Cosmic microwave background. Dark matter's presence affects the cosmic microwave background radiation providing clues about the early universe's conditions and evolution. Understanding this radiation is crucial for confirming our models of the universe's history. Existence of exotic matter. Dark matter challenges our understanding of the universe by introducing the concept of exotic or non-baryonic matter. It forces scientists to consider the existence of particles beyond the known constituents of ordinary matter. Who created dark matter? Dark matter is not something that was created by anyone or anything. It's a natural component of the universe, much like stars, planets, and galaxies. Dark matter has existed since the early moments of the universe's formation, and it's a product of the complex processes that shaped our cosmos. Scientists study dark matter to understand its properties and origins, but it was not created by any entity. It's an inherent part of the universe's composition, 
But what if dark matter is something we've never imagined? Or could dark matter hold the key to interstellar travel? What are your opinions on the topic? This is it for today, guys. Wrap up your cosmic journey with us. Share your thoughts on dark matter in the comments below. If you found this exploration of the universe intriguing, please give us a thumbs up, share this video, and join our cosmic journey by subscribing to our channel for more captivating content.